now that you have designed your character and have an idea about uh, what you want them to look like, you're going to create a realistic, properly proportioned image, a photo in Photopea by collecting different features from the internet and putting them all together. So in order to do that, the first thing that we're going to do is go to Google and start collecting images. So if you type in the word face and then go to images and you want those images to be large. So you're going to go to tools, size, large. If those images are too small, they'll be pixelated when you bring them in. The second thing that's important is that you find something that the face is facing forward because the mouth, the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, everything else is going to be overlaid. So you just need a general face shape. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to find one that I like save image as and save it to my Chromebook files. You're then going to continue this for various facial features. going to start pulling everything together in photo P. So you're going to create a new project, change it to inches, and let's do 8 by 10. Create, and here we are. You're going to first open your face. So file, open in place, and find the image of your face. Then you can take it and resize it. Press shift when you're resizing to maintain the aspect ratio. And you want to fill the space, make it as large as you can within your space without cropping out any of the sides. Now that you've got your background face, you need to start working on some of the features that you're going to add in. So you want to open these in a new file. So you're just going to go to File Open. because so we're going to edit these separately before we bring them in. So it's not confusing to sort of look at as we're working. So let's start with the nose. So I'm going to click the image I want for my nose and press Open. And you'll see that now it's in a different file. So if I want to go back to the background face, I can go here and then I can click over to the other file to the one that I want to work with the nose. You're going to crop out the area that you want to work with. So if we go to the crop tool and then select around that area for what we want to keep. So I'm actually going to make it a little bigger there and then press enter. It's going to crop that out. Then going to zoom in a little bit and you can see how it's really important that you have a big image. It's already getting a little pixelated as we go here. Okay. The next thing that we want to do is smooth out the edges around this so that when we add it, it's not going to be um, a hard edged box. So you're going to start by separating the feature from the background and the surrounding area. So in order to do that, you're going to go up to this rectangle select and hold it down until you can see lasso select. Once you're on lasso, then you can select freehand. So you're going to go around the image that you want to keep and then close it off. 
You're then going to go to Edit Cut or Control X. And then edit paste. It seems redundant, but this is how you separate the layers. So now you have a layer that is just the nose and a layer that is the background, and you can go and delete that background layer. Once you've done that, you want to smooth out these edges. So now to soften these edges, you're going to use the eraser tool. So over on the left, you can find the eraser tool here. And then you're going to go up to eraser options. There's two things you want to do. The most important here is the hardness. You want to move it way down to the bottom to zero because you want it to be nice and um, soft transition so there's no hard edges. The second thing you can do is change the size. And I'm going to move it down to something like this. Then you're going to start going around those edges and smoothing things out. I'm just going to change, that was a little bit big on the brush, so I'm going to change it to a bit smaller. And you see if you go around these edges, it's just going to soften things so that when you add it to your face and just around, you don't want to erase too much, you just want to smooth those things out. So we've gone around and that's done. Then you're going to go ahead and save as a PNG. So you're going to go to File, Export as PNG, save. And you're going to continue the same thing with your other features. So file open and so forth. going to start placing your features. So along the top here, go back to your original project, which was the background face, and you're going to start inputting your images. So if you go File, Open and Place, and find your first feature. Once you import that feature, you can move it down, you can rotate it, and you can use the Shift button to alter the size. Okay, so change it to something. Now you're trying to create your own character. So you've got to sort of ignore um, that background image and just use that as your shape and create the character that you're looking for. And you're going to continue doing that with all of your features. Now that you've got most of the features in, clearly we've only got one eye and one eyebrow. So just quickly how to do that. If you click on the layer that you have and right click, you can duplicate the layer. Then you've actually got two eyebrows and you can move it over here and you can go to edit, transform, and you can flip it so it's the other way and then you can move it around and tilt it to where you want it. So you're gonna do that with both the eyebrow and the eye. If you have something like these eyebrows that look really disjointed because of the color, you can repeat the process, and this is probably the best one, repeat the process with the eraser and smooth those things out around the edges. Once you have all the features that you want in the places that you want them tilted in the right directions and sized uh, properly, then you're going to save your image. So just go to File, Export as PNG and save and submit your character design.